you think aliens are coming? Or you think, baby, I think they're here. Yeah. Think, think you see some of these people walking around, you like, okay, I see you not swallowing, baby. <laughs> yes, indeed. Why? You ain't blinked in six minutes. I saw that. Yeah, I don't even think half of these people on TV or whatever we're seeing, I don't even think they're human. TMZ has the video of what looks like the Oscar winner on a boat in the Chicago River, that's right. During an appearance on Roseanne Barr's podcast, Monique revealed a startling claim about Hollywood cloning their celebrities for financial gain and hinted that these gatekeepers may be the same ones that Ice Cube previously spoke about, leaving us wondering about Jamie Foxx's involvement in this alleged scheme and if he has become Hollywood's latest victim. It might be some AI shit they cooked up to get us to look over here while they're stealing all our money. While having a conversation with Monique on whether aliens were going to invade Earth, Roseanne asked Monique whether she thought the aliens were coming, and Monique claimed they might already be here since she had already seen several celebrities on TV looking different than before and showing signs of lagging and sometimes not even blinking. This now brought the conversation between the two women that Hollywood is actually cloning celebrities for longevity in the industry. I don't even think half of these people on TV or whatever we're seeing, I don't even think they're human. This comment sparked curiosity on whether the Jamie Foxx that has been seen recently is the real Jamie or his clone double has replaced him. So recently, Jamie Foxx took to Twitter for the first time since his hospitalization and said, boat life celebrating summer with at Brown Chagarby and stay blessed. And later, TMZ got a video of Jamie on board a boat interacting with fans, and they speculated that Jamie Foxx's road to recovery seemed to be going very well, because the guy's out and about in public now. Sighting appears to be him, smiling, waving to the other boaters, members of his family also on the boat. The footage TMZ obtained showed a cheerful Jamie cruising along on a mega boat on the Chicago River, looking pretty vibrant and happy to see his fans. A neighboring vessel passed him by and gave him a big hurrah, and he waved back. Jamie appeared to be accompanied by a few others on board as well, and at first glance it seems there were some members of his family around. Now after this video was released to the public, questions started popping up if the video was recent or if it had been taken before Jamie was hospitalized. Others questioned why Jamie didn't do a five-minute live to show his fans he was doing better, and so most ended up not believing the video to be true. Fans of the talented singer, comedian, and actor Jamie Foxx have expressed concern for his health since his hospitalization earlier this year, since updates regarding his condition and the cause of his hospitalization have been scarce, leaving many in the dark. The lack of public appearances by Foxx has only fueled speculations and heightened curiosity. After news of Jamie's hospitalization had started spreading on April 12th, the actor's daughter Corinne Fox posted a statement to Instagram explaining that her father had gone into hospital the day before, writing, We wanted to share that my father, Jamie Fox, experienced a medical complication yesterday. The problem with her post is that she had offered little detail as to the cause or severity of Fox's illness, and the suspicions started rising when instead of the actor making a video thanking his fans, a brief message was uploaded to his Instagram account saying, Appreciate all the love. Feeling blessed. Several of Fox's famous friends and co-stars, including Vin Diesel, Jeremy Renner and Courtney Cox commented on the post to express their love and support, but this made rumors go rampant that Jamie's condition was way worse than it was being portrayed and that his family and friends were hiding something. In response to the rumors circulating, Corinne Fox shared a message on her Instagram story updating her followers on Fox's condition. Update from the family, sad to see how the media runs wild. My dad has been out of the hospital for weeks recuperating, she wrote. In fact, he was playing pickleball yesterday. Thanks for everyone's prayers and support. We have an exciting work announcement coming next week, too. In the midst of the rumors surrounding Jamie Foxx's health, a gossip columnist on the online talk show Ask Dr. Drew made a sensational claim alleging that Fox had been left partially paralyzed and blind after receiving a COVID vaccine. AJ Benza, a podcaster who formerly worked for the New York Daily News, told Dr. Drew Pinsky on his program on May 30th that Fox was left partially paralyzed and blind after he received a COVID vaccine. He also alleged that Fox was forced to get a vaccine while he was working on a film, claiming he had a source in the room with Fox and that Jamie developed a blood clot, which led to a stroke after he got vaccinated. Fox's representative swiftly denied the accuracy of these claims, stating that they were completely inaccurate 
and Corinne Fox also addressed the rumors on her Instagram story, asserting that her father had been out of the hospital for weeks and was in good health. Despite the assurance from Jamie's team, this didn't stop Benza's disputed claim from running rampant on social media, and far-right commentators like Candace Owens amplified it on her YouTube-based podcast, insinuating that Benza's statement must be true because Fox's family didn't outright condemn it. She said, their silence seems as though there is some veracity to this claim. We're all holding our breath to see whether or not Jamie Foxx speaks out. Charlie Kirk, the founder of the conservative organization Talking Points USA, tweeted that he was infuriated a decent person like Jamie Foxx fell victim to Big Pharma. And actor Kevin Sorbo shared an article repeating the unsubstantiated claim that Fox had been injured by the vaccine to his followers and said he was praying for Fox. Now, the conspiracy that Jamie might be cloned gained momentum after rapper Ice Cube made public claims that there were gatekeepers in Hollywood who went after the people who refused to join their club. He even appeared on Joe Rogan's podcast, detailing how he turned down a $9 million movie role because he wasn't vaccinated. Cube mentioned during the interview how in Hollywood, all the big production companies made it mandatory for actors to get vaccinated, and those who didn't follow that mandate ended up losing their jobs. He claimed he had never told anyone of his decision not to be in the movie, but that someone in Hollywood had leaked the information, and that is how the Hollywood Reporter and other well-known Hollywood news sources made it known publicly that he wasn't immunized and lost the movie role as a result. Based on Ice Cube's information, it's being speculated that Jamie was going to speak up about how the COVID shot destroyed his health, and that is why he has allegedly been replaced, or better wording cloned. It's now better that there have been more sightings of Jamie recently, whether it's actually him or something else, because frankly, there's been a lot of speculation about his condition. And the longer he went out of the public eye, the greater the conjecture would grow. Still no word on what exactly happened to him that sent him to the ER in the first place, but the point is, he seems primed for his comeback. TMZ recently released another positive update of more footage of Jamie spending a night out on the town in the Chicago area, getting active on his feet no less, and looking to be in great spirits there too. That clip is yet an extra sign that the man appears to be doing fairly okay at this point, and that he's perhaps ready to start venturing out more and more as he gets back to 100%. The video obtained by TMZ showed Jamie Foxx hitting up a top golf driving range over the weekend, and he seems to have made a great recovery. Jamie, club in hand, showed he has a firm grip and range of motion, and eyewitnesses even told TMZ that his swing was better than the people with whom he was competing. The eyewitness said he had a very strong swing and that Jamie won against his competitors. Beyond that, Jamie was walking around, chatting with friends and family, and the eyewitness said he was walking regularly, not dragging his leg. His arm movements were definitely good, adding he was just regular Jamie. The Topgolf driving range is near the rehab facility where Jamie's been recovering from his medical emergency. He's been at the facility since late April. While the exact details of Fox's medical emergency remain undisclosed, these recent sightings provide reassurance that he is on the road to full health. A fan on Twitter said, so let me get this straight. Jamie Foxx or somebody pretending to be him posted on Twitter and said he wasn't cloned. But we should see his conspiracy theory movie, his words about the government cloning people. They continued saying, is this some kind of PSY op? What do you think? Yes or no? He's in Chicago, so I hope he wasn't hit by a tornado. A lot of people injured by those shots. To this, another said, honestly, at this point, anyone that disappears for any reason, albeit a hospital room, basement, psychiatric ward, I'm assuming that when they emerge, it's not the same person as who went in. What are your thoughts on what exactly is going on in Hollywood and with Jamie Foxx? Tell us in the comment section. Anyways, let's not forget that this video is based on theories and my opinions and should not be considered facts. That's it. Bye.